Hello everybody, this is Kyoriga Gamer and I am back, uh, aka G3, 3G, no not 3G, G3 perhaps, I'm trying it out, I'm not sure if it's working, um, but uh, you know, I thought I'd give it a go, I saw someone make that in a comment, someone type it, I didn't see them type it exactly, but I saw a comment saying G3 and I thought, hell yeah, that sounds good, uh, I am trying it out, Generally, Good Game is a bit of a mouthful, but I love it. But G3 may be the way that I I, I I may try it out for a few episodes, see where it goes. Anyway, we're back into it. This is episode six. We're just about to ex enter the next sector. Uh, we are going to the Duskbringer Stronghold. That's where we decided to go last time. So we are we're heading over there. Uh, we're not a fan of spiders. We said that. We're not gonna go to those hive people's land. You've entered hyperspeed. Around you swirls dense distant stars and planets that they fly past at breakneck speed. While in hyperspeed, you have several options. You can proceed to the next sector or do something aboard the ship first. We're proceeding to the Duskbringer stronghold. So they are hostile. Uh, very high rebel threat level. And locations of interest are the Syndicate and Mercenary Forces. Okay. While once a vibrant ministry sector, the Duskbringer movement has once gained, has since gained a tight grip over the territory and transformed it into their base operations. The rebel presence here is significantly high as well, as it seems Universe One is focusing a large effort on capturing the zone. Dear me. You've arrived in the Duskbringer stronghold. This sector is populated by the most devoted of the Duskbringers, dangerous radical Zoltans whose fascist beliefs hardly coincide with those of the Federation. Keep a watchful eye as you traverse this sector. This sector is in far worse condition than you ever expected. In the distance is a major skirmish between the interdimensional rebel fleet with universe one, from Universe 1 and the Dustbringers. The guard team overwhelmed with the invaders. You might be able to slip past the detected if you're lucky. Well, I think we can handle this fight. Let's just do it. And let's refresh our crew's memories on how this goes. So let's do this. With the rest of the Duskbringer and Rebel Force distracted, there's nothing stopping you from fighting this guy. Prepare for combat. We're gonna do nothing and get ready. Okay, so we're gonna be attacking their weapon systems straight away. Uh, heavy P, Heavy 2, we're all on the weapons. It seems like they have a lot of shields, so we really wanna be taking that out. They've got a missile on us. Come on then, before their shields, get back up recharge okay nice good taking it out and some fire damage too keep that going perfect okay good right you've defeated the desperate guard whatever might have been in their cargo has for certain been destroyed but you can at least salvage some supplies from the ship by killing the Duskbringer Guard, you have no doubt caused them to dispatch reinforcements to track you down. Watch your step as you explore. Watch your step as you explore the sector. Okay, we want to perform a task and we're going to run a salvage mission. As our team do. Super suave, as always. 29 scrap. Pretty good. Alright, we have 217 scrap. Let's have a look at the map. Is there a store nearby? We're going to save scrap for a store. That's what we're going to do. Let's jump on. A very young dust Dustbringer, perhaps not even yet an adult, is barreling down towards you. Federation pig, this here is Zoltan Space and you ain't welcome here. You're in it for now, for I am here. I will be your downfall. <clears throat> I eat feds and renegades for breakfast, yeah. Just like my hero, Devorak the Deathless. I'm climbing the ranks, yeah. I'm gonna be the greatest, most loyal, most deadliest Dustbringer there ever was, yeah. Aren't you quaking your boots, yeah? Uh... Aren't you a bit young to be a soldier? That is the response Naomi would have. The Zoltan spits on the ground. Ain't you listening, pig? I ain't a soldier. I'm a freaking Dustbringer, yeah? The greatest Dustbringer, killing renegades like there ain't nothing. Cause he ain't. I'm a real freaking hero. Everybody loves me, yeah? Now start quaking, pig. <coughs> My throat. Uh, doesn't that make you a soldier? Fuck. What? Show me so much you know, pig. A soldier's nothing but a brainwashed lackey. 
eats hay and dies for a cause he ain't even knowing. A dust bringer is a glorious warrior of the future, bringing about the destiny of the Zoltan race, yeah. What did you know about a glorious future, pig? Enough talking now, yeah. I'm going to show you what a glorious future really means. Why did I choose that, that voice? I think we have to kill him so he can never speak again. Uh, we may want to repair. That would cost four fuel, though. That's very bad, so no. We're not going to do anything. We're going to do nothing and attack. They're going to send some guys over. Whereabouts are they going to be? All right, we're going to open these and try and vacuum them out suck all the oxygen out and and oh okay so they just teleport straight out there so let's close these again let's actually get this guy in in fact you know what we could do we could just take out weapons and have him yeah if the doors stay nice and closed and they can't really do much uh, so that's what we'll do we're going to keep just taking out their weapons okay so he's going to go to the door area now uh, Bjorn, you can get in there actually and help out with the door section. Oh, we've got a level. Mr. Booger went up a level. Nice. So we can actually uh, dodge more. Fantastic. Okay. How is Starga doing? Starga is okay. Not fantastic. We're going to get him out, I think. All right, pig. Well played, well played. Made a mess of my ship, yeah. But you're real proud of yourself, yeah. Well, give yourself a, yourself a pat on the back, sure. Beat the deadliest dust bring around, yeah. There'll be more coming for you after this. Let me tell you, because you proved yourself, I'll, I'll take pity, pity on you. All right, well. Big words there saying there's going to be more coming, but his voice is really annoying. So, but Naomi has accepted his pity and will accept his pity. Yeah, smart one you are here. Next time, think before you wander into Zoltan's space, you're here. No room for pigs here, yeah? Alright, so we got a recon drone boarding and 30 of something else. Now, remember guys, we cannot heal. And that's because we actually got a clone bay instead of a med bay. So if someone dies, then okay, they die. Uh, but they can be cloned again and come back to life. But we heal every single time that we jump, I believe. So that's the new thing going on here. And also, Mr. Booger, yes, he got another level there of evasion. Very good. And Starga, he got a bit of repair points, I think, uh, going from there. Okay, so let's jump. Have we got, oh, a store. Let's go to the store. Uh, a Zoltan supremacists, the Dustbringers, aren't keen on trading with anyone outside their species. Usually they don't get along with military citizens either. The ship here seems all right with dealing with any Zoltan, just not other races. Hmm. We don't have a Zoltan on board, so we can't do anything. Uh, we're gonna have to just, let's just avoid them, I think. No, fuck that, we need some resources. So the Dustbringers are your enemies. It doesn't matter if they're open to other Zoltans or not. They're still fascists and xenophobes, and that's enough in your book to warrant their death. You get ready for combat. What do you want to do? Change your toggle or amp equipment. Do some last minute checkups while we charge the weapons. What is this? What toggle equipment do you wish to change? Toggle automation for crew drones currently disabled. Recon drone. Set the state of the drone. Current mode boarding. What is that? I don't know what that is. Uh, we're going to not do anything with this. Could you guys tell me what this is? I, I thought we needed like a drone bay or something, uh, a drone lab, in order to do stuff with this. But if you have any ideas of what this is all about, then do let me know. I'm going to not do anything with it. Leave it as it is. And, and we'll start the battle. Okay, they're all in on the clone bay. And that means we're going to be all in on their weapon systems, as always. We have super fast charging weapons though nowadays. Okay, their weapons are taken out of action. They could take out our clone bay, that's fine. But weapon systems, we need that on now. We don't need them on the shields. 
simply because we have enough going for us. Uh, they're not going to be attacking us anymore. Their weapons have been taken out, so we're okay there. Okay. The Duskbringer ship's engines are active and flowering even brighter. It's trying to escape. We can't allow that to occur. So the next weapon that becomes available, we targeted the engine room. I believe it will be the Heavy P. Okay, it's taken out totally good. There we are. Nice. Another ship full of Zoltans has been reduced to scrap meta. You scrap their ship. 52 scrap, pretty good. Okay, so let's set them back to their respective positions. In fact, we do need some repairs going on on the, the clone bay. Right. So I was talking about last time, I sort of said that we would like to get a a medi guy. I don't know what they're called. It's one of the, um, are just called med, med men? I don't know what they're called. But someone that goes around healings, healing like a doctor. Um, so recon drone boarding, current mode boarding. Controllable small airborne recon drone that explodes on death. Can we switch between defense and boarding mode? Six, 50% damage in boarding mode and 10% in defensive. What does it do? So tip, total drones can have multiple functionalities. Ship drones require one drone to deploy, but will not need to be deployed again until destroyed. They're still on ship and help your crew as long as they're powered. So we need a drone system first. So it says warning at the bottom. You do not have a drone. Do you not have a drone system? Okay. Right. So we need a drone system in order to do this. And I believe we go to a store to get one of those. We could also upgrade our shield system now. Get a bit more of that. We kind of like to. And also super blast doors are an option. So, if we were to get that, we 90 for this, plus one more, I think. Let's do that. Okay. Perfect. Okay, good. I think we're in position. Let's run us all back. Let's enter to quickly set our crew back to their respective positions. Okay, so we're here. What's this one? The nebula section. Okay, we're gonna head to this unvisited location. Though the Zoltan generally prefer beams over missiles and mines, it seems the Dustbringers do not share the same sentiment. A trapper vessel is residing at this beacon. They haven't yet noticed you. Uh, okay, we can either avoid or steal their mine launcher tech. I mean, we're doing it. We want scrap. We've just spent a shit ton. I didn't realize how much on the last shield points. So let's let's do this. Get rid of combat. So let's just do nothing and go. All right, He's in, they're in the weapons section straight away. Right, let's do all on weapons. And I'm gonna get you, Naomi, to run straight through. And I'm sorry, Bjorn, get off the cameras. We need humans fighting. God, Magic Badger's gonna need some help soon. That's right, we've taken one of them out. Get back in there now, Magic Badger. Last shot, killed. Oh fuck. All right, let's uh, open some doors. Vacuum here. If we get a vacuum going, that means that we have uh, no oxygen to fuel the flames. Very good. Right, that's perfect, very good. And let's close doors. Good, all right, we're gonna need to repair at some point too. While scrapping the wreckage of the trapper ship, you find a functional mine launch weapon drifting in the midst of the wreckage. Osiris's mine launcher. Interesting, let's have a look. Okay. So mine launchers charge quickly and fire a burst of slow moving projectiles. It also serves as an efficient way to lay traps for the fleet. And at empty beacons provides two fleet delay for 10 missiles. Oh, interesting. Okay, so if we plant one of these, 
it costs 10 missiles and gives us another two uh, sort of, let's say, jumps before we're caught up with. Okay, there's a store here. Let's go there. I actually don't think we'll use it though because I'm not pro enough to use it. Uh, just meaning that it's a bit, it's a bit of a pro move, I think. So we'll probably sell it here. A seemingly ordinary ministry marketplace is broadcasting a looping store message. On approach, it seems to be a mixture of bored and nervous, but as far as you can tell, any ships are welcome to dock. Is it worth it, considering how deep into Dustbringer space you are? Yes. Fortunately, no Dustbringers chase after you while you dock and stroll the markets, but you do notice a few regiments patrol in the corridors. You also happen to pass by a strange group, which you can tell are feds in disguise. If the cup gets blown, it could be disastrous for you. There isn't much you can do, but hope nothing else happens. Pre-torch, fuck. That just looks amazing. A rapidly charging preemptive weapon that pierces all shields and lights the enemy ship ablaze. It's a slow moving beam that starts a fire on every tile it hits. We're going to start a playthrough, I think, on just these sort of beam weapons. I think that, that'll be a fun go through. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. So we have some augmentations, tracking flares, interesting that I can sort of disable the cloaking system med base oh wait so we can get a med bay as well huh what is going on here so we have a a clone bay but we used to have a med bay right can we get a med bay too is it worth trying it out and seeing? Anyway, I'm going to sell these because I think they're pro moves, and I'm not. I'm not pro. So if I bought a med bay. Would that be smart? I'm not sure, but we could buy another crew member or there's a beam weapon. These are all beam weapons, actually. Okay, so more or less a cool name. 10, equation plus 10 while, when manning, piloting, okay. Uh, Adnan, I'm pretty sure I had a comment on one of my videos called More or Lesser. I'm wondering if that was a reference to this. Interesting. Nicola, Zoltan. Uh, okay. Hmm. I would like to get that. I just don't know what it will do. If it will get rid of our our clone bay or not. So if I was to look at this, uh, not this one, this one here. Hmm. I don't know what would happen. We're not going to do anything. We're going to keep going. We're going to jump. A small fleet of dusk bringer ships has blockaded this beacon. You attempt to sneak past, but a squadron of Dustbringer ships fly down to stop you. You assume a fight is imminent, but instead you receive a hail. A Federation ship is unorthodox, but I have a favour to ask you. You are greeted into a large meeting room furnished very strangely. Antique maps and weaponry line the walls, and a Dustbringer martyr sits on a leather, leather armchair, sipping from a cup of tea. Yes, hello. I know our political arrangements or alignments have made us enemies, but today I think we can reach a mutually beneficial agreement. We have surely noticed the interlopers from Universe 1 are quite the issue for us since Wentworth 1 ordered them to betray our pact. Now, my men and I have been assigned to keeping this hill out of our sector. There is a particularly slippery and obnoxious rebel commander being supplied by an, by an unknown force around these parts who has been giving me trouble. Give me your service and kill him. I will give you mine in return. Is this a fair deal? Yes. Most excellent. Here are the coordinates of this nitwitted loon. I believe he goes by the title. <coughs> Commander, kick your ass, Kyle. Ah, how distasteful. Cool. Okay, they've added a quest marker. Very good. Okay. So let us have a look. Up there. So I think one, two, three, four would be fine. 
yeah, we're four jumps ahead. So we can get to the quest and then sort of do a not very graceful return uh, coming back on ourselves. So that's fine, we'll do that. On the distant but visibly populated planets, you can make out some kind of massive dust bringer structure, heavily fortified and partially concealed by a forest. Scans show large amounts of power being drawn into the facility. Yes, we are landing and investigating. You pile it down to the surface, making sure you aren't spotted and hide in a thick patch of trees. Your crew continue on foot until they reach the entrance of the structure, protected by two heavily armed Duskbringer soldiers. Shit, we have to shoot our way through or too risky pull back. Hmm, we may lose crew if we shoot our way through, but it's the way through. Cut them down then, and women. Fuck, Steven! You underestimate the dust, dust breaker guards, thinking you can quickly take them out. However, they're quick to draw, and one of your crew falls to the ground, injured. Fortunately, you're able to silently subdue them before anyone else can get hurt. But he's injured. Come on. Fortunately, your crew is revived back at the ship and hurries back to meet up with you. Clone Bay. You proceed into the facility and are surprised to find rows and rows of what appear to be test tubes. Each has a small digital label on it, denoting them to different serial numbers. It takes some time looking through the machinery to realize this must be some sort of massive DNA bank. You could likely dismantle some of this tech and bring it back with you. Or quickly try to clone one of the Duskbringer soldiers and convince them to work for you. Ooh. Okay, grab the cloning tech, backup DNA, and one free cloning upgrade, or clone a Duskbringer martyr. I'm getting a Duskbringer martyr. You quickly grab a random vial for a Duskbringer martyr and make sure to swipe or wipe all personal memories, but not skills or training. Hard to do that. Once your new crew is birthed from the machine, utterly confused on their whereabouts, you inform them about the Federation that they now serve and prepare to leave. Giles! And you are fantastic at flying, or hugging perhaps, whatever that symbol is, and weapons. As you leave the facility, an elite Dustbringer vessel approaches you and an alarm sounds. Looks like you weren't as unnoticed as you thought. Let's go. All right, so we have, I'm gonna check Magic Badger, see how Magic Badger is doing weapons-wise. I can't tell from this, uh, but let's put Magic Badger into, wait, where is Steven? Steven is there, fine. Uh, I thought that, oh, they're gonna fucking go into the shield room, aren't they? Hmm. Where is our, I thought that we had another guy in the shield room. Am I being blind or something? Oh, this is Steven here. Okay, Steven, you're back, fine. Steven, get into the shield room. What is this, Giles? Oh, Giles, just, oh my God, Giles, nice one. He just sort of flitted straight in there. He, wow, amazing. Oh my God, our weapons aren't firing. I'm just so amazed by Giles' teleportation skills. I totally forgot that we're actually in a battle right now. And then their missiles just totally missed. That's fantastic. Okay, keep going. Okay, they've got one missile on us. Fuck, two. Come on, guys. All right, Steven, we need you to do something. Maybe go into the O2 room. Just stick it out over there. I'd like to check up on who is the best for the shield section right now. All right, well done. Ooh. It seems the cargo of the Dustbringer ship survived the fight. Inside is a functional weapon which you bring back on board. Energy Flamer. Right, so crew members, who is Giles is good at weapons and evasion. Naomi is fantastic at evasion. Um, Steven though. Ugh, excuse me. Badge is very good with weapons. So Giles, really, you can just do whatever you want. Just hang about, you know, be cool. Energy weapons can disable systems and cause hull damage. Also starts more fires than the average energy cannon. Oh God, guys, you know what this is. I'm thinking this is going there. Yeah, that's going there. 
Okay. Right. Okay then. So let's jump. Uh, we're going to the quest. Right, let's make sure that we're not been charging this weapon. Let's charge the fire energy weapon as well. Or power it up, rather. You've arrived at the destination specified by the Dustbringers. Indeed, a massive rebel ship is attacking a small Zoltan settlement, of which you aren't even sure belongs to the Dustbringers. Now, who might this be? Why? It can't be. You are that little shit that keeps blowing up my sister. Do you know who I am? <coughs> I have kicked your ass, Kyle, and I bet you can guess what I'm going to do now. He pauses for a moment. In case you're stupid, I'll explain it. I'm going to kick... You mute him while you decide what to do. God, my voice. It's wrecked. <clears throat> uh, shoot him dead. You, you briefly unmute Kyle, but after a long string of explicit insults, you mute him for the remainder of the fight to prepare to attack. Let's do nothing and get ready to go. Okay, so we want this new fire energy weapon. Uh, shots per charge two is very good. Just checking it out. Yeah, the fire chance is 100%, so that's a real, real benefit there. Uh, and we are just going to go all out on their weapons. <clears throat> God, okay, this is a thing. Let's hope we can take them out before they can get through all these blast tools. Right, nice. They've got fire going on down there. Yeah, we're doing well. Here we go. Got no chance. Perfect. Okay, that guy's still there though. No! This can't be! My ass has been kicked! That is going to be so pissed. The rebel ship has been neutralized. You scrap the remains of what was once Carl's ship. While scrapping the rebel ship, you notice a small pod ejects from the vessel. Due to being on a different comm system, you have not yet muted it. Carl appears on the screen, his oversized melon of red face, of a face red and sweaty. You haven't heard the last of me, you Federation dipsh! Carl doesn't get to finish this last insult before a dusk bringer carrier jumps into the system and annihilates the pod in a single shot. You receive a hail from the same dusk bringer as before. Very good. It is most unfortunate I did not arrive earlier to partake in the fight. But I see you did sufficient work, and now this Neanderthal is dead. You upheld your job for the most part. That's why I should uphold mine. Redin. Wow. We've got another guy. Okay, but wait a second. We have got so many bad guys all around here. Uh, Redin is super cool, though. So I think we need to take a look at Mr. Mr. Booger and find out just how good he is at evasion. I think he's pretty good. So I don't think we're gonna move him out of that position. Mr. Booger, evasion plus seven. Oh my God, he is incredible at everything. Wow. Oh wow. Redden, you are incredible. Hmm. Incredible. Okay. Well, Redden, I mean, I don't know what to do with you. You could literally go everywhere and just be incredible. Uh, I think I might put you on shields then. Yeah, I'm going to put you, Redden, into shields. And then Giles can go, I don't know, into O2 or something? No, Giles, no. Giles can be somewhere else. Uh... I'm thinking Giles over here. How how is Giles at fighting? I think he's alright. Inherited WT stat, short range silver. I think he's alright. Yeah. So I'm gonna just put him there. Let's save their positions once Naomi's back. And then we'll be good to jump on. Yeah, good. Right, we're going back to the exit, guys. We've been here. 
exit. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. There are only two ships within range and they seem to be engaged in battle. One of them has the markings of a space pirate. We're aiding the civilian ship for sure, that's what Naomi would do. You power up your weapons, engage the pirate ship. We're going straight for it, let's go. Ah, they've taken over Bredin, shit. Let's go. Okay, uh, Giles, get in there. Not to attack though, I, I don't want you to kill off our shield guy. Uh, maybe into there? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, get out of there. Oh, Bjorn. Shit, Giles, attack. Oh my god, Giles. Holy crap. Uh, Giles over here. Oh my god, the worm boys, slugs, and Roper are actually fucking us. The pirate ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. Contact the civilian ship. Uh, this sector has become increasingly dangerous for friends of the Federation. I thank, think my crew can patch up some of your hull damage. Just thanks. It is appreciated. It really is. Uh, let's go into here. Kill this Roper guy off, please. He has been a pain. A real pain. Okay. Humans. Unite. And Bjorn, you can't really do much here because you're just going to die. Okay. God, you're going to die quick, aren't you? Just do a bit, please. And who else can we send in? Steven. What are you doing over there? Come on, Steven. Right, close that door. Uh, oh my god, all of our players are... Our, our crew are not as strong as these slug boys. Come on. Oh my god. Okay. Everyone back. Oh. Bjorn, are you okay there? I know it's kind of low oxygen in there. I guess you're feeling a little bit... Good, to be honest, with that low oxygen. Right, we're going next sector. Okay, kleptocracy or spectral wastelands. That is a decision we will make next time. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I will hopefully see you all next time. If you like what you see, leave a like. Um, subscribe to if you can. I'd love that. And uh, if you do, then I'll see you next time. See you then. Bye-bye.